Let's welcome to the show Congressman Greg Stubbe. It's great to have you back on. Is the Biden administration doing payback now? Because the Washington Post is reporting that the Biden administration is getting the Justice Department to do a leak investigation of Republican whistleblower Kash Patel, who called out the FBI for spying abuses during the Trump Russia probe. Are they doing payback here? Well, look what happened under the Obama-Biden administration in the uh, conspiring in the DOJ against the Trump campaign. You had, you had active members of the DOJ on Operation Crossfire Hurricane that were surveilling on American citizens using their, uh, quote, investigation into the Trump campaign, the collusion uh, with Russia that we now know never existed. So it wouldn't surprise me at all that now the Biden administration is also doing the same thing with Republicans, also doing the same things with those who used to be in the Trump administration. And where, where is the Durham investigation? Where are all these investigations that were supposed to be going on all this time to look at the abuses that were happening in the DOJ for Crossfire Hurricane and to the Trump administration? We've got, you know, Kesh Patel worked for House Republicans on House Intelligence. He worked in the office of the Director of National Intelligence. He was basically saying, wait a second, there are abuses of uh, constitutional rights in the FBI spying uh, on the Trump, Russia, uh, the Trump campaign in the probe. That, you know, here's the thing, Congressman, you know, the DOJ watchdog said it was, was uh, botched. Uh, you know, the FBI official James Comey, Peter Strzok, James Clapper, they would all later say they didn't have a case for collusion. But now we have them going after Kash Patel in some kind of deep state intelligence agency complaint to go after Patel. Yeah, they're using, they, they know they didn't have a case back when they were investigating it because they were using the Russia collusion hoax and a dossier that was promulgated by Hillary Clinton and, and the Democrats. And so they knew then they didn't have a case and they were trying to manufacture things. And so now they're trying to bring other investigations against Republicans when they haven't even finished the investigations against the Democrats that were part of the DOJ during this period of time. What's happened to Peter Stroke? What's happened to these individuals that clearly violated the law that did things that went against the evidence that they had before them, uh, where there clearly wasn't evidence that the Trump campaign colluded with Russia. What's happening with those individuals that were using the DOJ for a political bias and for political investigations? Yeah. So Patel, Cash Patel embarrasses them. Now it's payback. I mean, he was spotlighting, spotlighting FBI abuses of the secret court, the FISA court, that's meant to wiretap terrorists, where the FBI was using the FISA court to wiretap people like Carter Page. Now we've got the ACLU at the Supreme Court saying, open up the FISA court, because uh, basically we've got a lot of surveillance of Americans that we saw in the FBI Trump Russia probe that was roundly criticized and condemned as botched. Yeah, thankfully, right before Trump left office, John Ratcliffe unclassified some of those documents, but there's a ton of those documents that haven't been unclassified, uh, that, that all of those different things to get the uh, su subpoenas to surveil on the Trump campaign went through the FISA court. We don't know any of that inf information because the John Durham investigation is supposed to be investigating this, but this has been going on for two years, and the American public wants to know what happened, and if there were things that were criminal or things that were, that were happening to target target conservatives by the mere fact that they worked with Trump's campaign or worked in the Trump administration, that should come out. And, and unfortunately, the American people haven't heard it. Members of Congress are frustrated. Members of Judiciary Committee like myself are frustrated that the, that the investigations like the John Durham investigation still hasn't come in to fruition of what evidence they have before them. All right, Congressman Stubbe, thanks for joining us. It's good to see you. Thanks for come having back me.